Now we got it all buttoned up and it's time to finish off. So the final thing that we need to do here after this beautiful cage has been made is we need to be able to certify it. And the way that we're going to have it certified is by drilling a whole bunch of little holes into it. And while that sounds crazy, well, the reason for drilling all the holes is they all the tubes need to be inspected. And per the rules, we need to put a 3 16 inch hole in every single tube or in every single main tube. Now I put them in all the tubes just, you know, for the sake of in case, you know, one uh, sanctions rule book is slightly different than the other. Some would say all the tubes, some would say main tubes, some would say primary tubes, some would say one hole. So the majority of them will tell me all holes or all tubes, all holes. But the most important thing is they need to go in a non-critical area. So do not uh, put a hole right at the end uh, in a, right next to a weld. Do not put a hole in the middle of a bend. Do not put a hole, you know, in areas where uh, a load is gonna, uh, a load is being bared, or it's too close to a heat, uh, heat affected zone, or anything like that of a weld. So, personally, with all of my holes, I like to uh, kind of hide them. Actually, uh, you know, I mean, you you gotta know where they are, and you know, we gotta have a good spot to put them. But uh, I don't like them to be extra, like exceptionally visible. So if they're, uh, you know, you taking you know nice pics or whatever the case is uh, like the photo gallery that we have available I don't want all the holes to be seen so um, what I'm gonna do is uh, pick a few different locations most of them are on the bottom sides or underneath and uh, they're typically everything's away from uh, from an area of which we can uh, uh, isn't going to be accessed. So. Now one area that I absolutely do put uh, the holes in in pretty much the exact same spot over and over again is, uh, is my main hoop um, I usually just stick one in the back. Now I normally follow and chase everything around with a marker first just in case I decide I want to change my mind then I can go erase the marker and uh, <laughs> I can't weld the hole back up and then grind it down or whatever so I can erase the marker if I don't like it. All right, so let's take a look at the noggin bar here. There are a couple of different places that we could put it in. We don't necessarily have to have a hole in it, but we do have to have one in the windshield bar up top. So normally I put the hole in the windshield bar right at the center of it, but since there is a bend right at the center of it, and there's already a hook right here, I'm just going to move it a little off center, and I'm going to put the hole right just, just outside of that bend. Now the only question is, do you put it in the face of it here, or do you put it down below, or maybe even uh, put it from the front side? So that's entirely up to you to decide which way you want to go with it. Uh, in this case, I think I'm actually going to put it on the front side to where it's a little less visible. And then on the noggin bar, I'm actually going to go somewhere up in this area, kind of to match uh, to match how the main hoop was and I can easily access it from here. The gusts themselves, they don't necessarily require any type of uh, you know, holes or verification into them, so we're not going to drill them. But later on down the road, if the tech official says we do absolutely need to put holes, inspection holes, in the gussets themselves, or in these corner gussets, uh, we'll put one right here, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. But for right now, we're just going to leave these alone. Uh, these do not really require a hole in them, but later on down the road, if we need to put one in, we'll put one in. Now on the door bars, I typically like to go just on the insides. And this is... This is nothing really fancy, just a few inches away from where the weld is. We'll just toss one in there, one in there. We'll do the exact same thing on the other side. That's pretty easy. And also on the, uh, the diagonal bars, there's you know lots of space underneath here. So then anywhere between five and seven inches, we'll put one on the bottom. We'll do the exact same thing on the opposite side, just so it's completely mirrored and easy to remember where they're at. Now these tubes here, uh, we don't really need a whole lot of uh, fanciness or anything like that to throw in a, a hole in any kind of place. I'm, again, I'm just going to take the underside five to seven inches away from the weld itself. One there, one there. Now we definitely can't uh, put one on the underside of here, so actually just right as we open the door, I'm going to toss one just kind of kind of up and out of the way. Now this tube doesn't necessarily need a hole in it, neither does this one, but we're going to add them just to be on the safe side. Now the door bars were already done, so we don't need any additional holes in them, but the A-pillar bar up front, we do. So normally I would sneak one in behind the AC vents if the AC vents were going back in, but in this one I'm just going to kind of just sneak it right underneath and just keep it out of the way. Again, I want to put for the windshield bar I want that one up there so it's just kind of yeah you know, the tech official can get in here I can get in there with the drill and it's not in any one of these critical areas and it's not visible really any other way so it's gonna be kind of hard to see from up top here and uh, you know kind of stays out of the way so we'll just like I that. said before same thing on the opposite side 
so five to seven inches away from our welded area. Same thing on the diagonal of the uh, main hoop uh, diagonal bar. And then we're going to sneak one right underneath. Just a little one. So that pretty much knocks out every single tube. Just got to get to drilling and get all of these in here. And then I got to let the customer know where every single hole is. So that way he can go and show all the tech officials in case they need to know. So let me grab my 316s drill and we're on our way. Well, that's about as good as it gets. That's a wrap.